Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Brookings Harbor and all the fishing boats at sea. I'm Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. And And this this is the the Insider Insider Report. Report. So let your ears do the walking as we fill you in on what's going on in the Brookings Harbor area and beyond. beyond. Well, hello, 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 and welcome to this week's show that keeps you in the know. Hiya, cat. Hey, Bruce. How was your weekend? Yeah, it was good. It was it was good. You know, hey, yeah, I took Junior. You know, he had his tonsils and adenoids out and everything like that. Got that mm-hmm. all done a couple weeks ago. And uh, yeah, we went in and talked to the doctor, and it was really cool because... When we were leaving, you know, he looked at it and he checked everything and everything's groovy. Mm -hmm. And uh, he goes, perfect, everything's fine. Then I told him and I thanked him, you know, and I said, hey, man, you know, he's breathing better and he's like, you know, not snoring. He's not a freight train anymore. So there's like silence in there. I go, thank you, doc. You know, I'm Mm -hmm. like, thank you very much and everything. But when we were leaving, he goes, all right, Junior, well, have a great life. Well, now when a doctor tells you to have a great life, that means you ain't going to be seeing him anymore, you know? Mm-hmm. So, I mean, apparently, mm-hmm. you know, he's the, yeah, he's, he was covered saying Junior's good right now is to go all the way. So, that was right. cool. So okay, there you go. Uh, there you when go. the doctor tell you, I like that, you know? Yeah, it's like when the doctors, when I get it, the silver star. Mm-hmm. I used to have a doctor used to give silver stars to everybody that Love was, it. like, on the money. And I, like, <laughs> I got a silver star from a doctor. Yeah. Love it. Love but, it. But, yeah. Mm-hmm. We just did that. So we had Nerf Wars. It was all around this weekend, of mm-hmm. course. You know, we had to celebrate because he had to be cool the last few weeks and everything. Mm-hmm. After he got it done. They got warm, calm, and everything yeah. like that. And yeah. Tamp down that energy. <laughs> so we went through the freakiness and all that good stuff. And it's like, whew. Yeah, that's a that's a crazy ordeal. The kids going through the tonsils and the, and the adenoids and everything like that. You know, yeah, the aftermath right. is not too pretty sometimes. No, so, no. Whew, <laughs> freak out for a minute, man, actually. But yeah. But yeah, we just did that. Had a good one. Watch the the game. The Niners are going to the Super Bowl. It's going to be that. KC and Niners. So that Las Vegas is going to be full of red inside. That's for sure. I was going to say, yeah, <laughs> yeah, those are ones where they have pretty but, similar colors. There, yeah, they so. both have the, yeah the red colors. So yeah. the, the stadium would be filled with red. You want to know who's who? Yeah, man. Yeah. But it's like they're going to be out there battling. And like I said before, I go, it wasn't really bad when they don't do it. But you know, I'm always rooting for them to do it. And when they don't do it, it's like I can enjoy it without no pressure but mm-hmm. i'll take the pressure like i said before <laughs> i take the pressure as long as they're in the super bowl right. it's groovy yeah. and it was cool because the lions you know i found out you know i was checking because i kind of bummed i go i thought maybe they had to get to the super bowl and they hadn't been to a super bowl in 64 years but no they never been in a super bowl it's been 64 years since they got to where they did so they actually accomplished what they wanted to accomplish oh okay. they got to their first championship in 64 years yeah oh, yeah yeah that is progress maybe yeah, next yeah in fact, yeah one of their games it was funny because when they were leading up in the playoffs there was this lady sitting in the audience that had a sign they were down there and they focused on her and it mm-hmm. said i'm 73 years old i was nine years old when they were in the last championship and it's like oh man <laughs> so yeah. so yeah good for the lions you know they they made it to a championship and you know sorry great for the niners that they took them out so we could get to the super bowl but <laughs> hey you know they got next year and everything like that they can come back if they're going to be right. rocking hard like they were you know and everything this year to get to where they were oh, so absolutely. just do it again <laughs> I'm pulling for the Niners, man. That's for sure. We'll be talking about it, you know, in a few weeks when it happens and everything. But yeah, that's awesome. That's cool. It's always a good thing to have your local colors. I'm kidding. Get going. <laughs> as close yeah. to local as we can get, yeah, having yeah, no yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, pro yeah. football team in Oregon. <laughs> so what did y'all end up doing getting into this weekend? Uh, you know, it was a pretty quiet weekend. We did some rehearsals for for love letters and the, for the vagina monologues. And then on Saturday night, and some of the people from the cast for both of those shows ended up having a pizza party to celebrate a major milestone for the company. We'll be making more announcements about that in February and March. So, yeah, yeah we're just having a good time and celebrating where we're at as a business. So. Well, I'm congratulating you on that, yeah, too. Very yeah, cool. Yeah, that uh-huh. was a good, that's a good milestone. And good pizza, too. Worthy of a mm-hmm. pizza party, that's for sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's great. That's coming up next, or the Love Letters. Love Letters that, is coming up next. Yes, it's one. opening on the ninth. so coming that's up right. soon. Yeah, we yeah. got everything. It'll be in the Insider this mm-hmm. next week when we yep. get it out. The yep. bright yep. pinkness of it all. <laughs> yeah, it'll tell you everything because she sent me everything, so I got it all. Yeah, it's Twice. perfect, very good. <laughs> well, right on, that's good. Yep. So we all had some fun weekends. And the Packies was this weekend, so that's great. You know, mm-hmm. Chico Playhouse annual did their annual very fun, very yeah, fun. Mm-hmm. Buddy John got one, and I'm sure some more people I know. I just haven't seen them all yet. I've seen all their Facebook posts yet. Oh, yeah, they'll start rolling. In. It'll start rolling mm-hmm. out there. But some fun times were had there, so that's always good times. Yeah. Yep. Yep. 
And uh, yeah, that's it. So I uh, hope you all got out and had a fun weekend this last weekend. And we got some more stuff to talk about here. Before we get going, I'd like to thank Trike City Dispensary, the Oregon South Coast Fisherman, otherwise known as the Castaways, Just the Jeweler, and Oregon Coast VIP Marketing for sponsoring the Insider Report. If you'd like to sponsor our show or one of the other fine shows you can find at KCIW, just go to KCIW.org and you will be on your way to getting your name heard on the radio. That's right. Good times. Good times. Well, all right, well, let's just hop right into it. We got no guests, so let's do some music schedule action here. We got plenty, that's for sure. That is true. A full lineup coming up at Misty Mountain. Music there runs from 6 to 8 p.m. On the 2nd, it's going to be Lon Goddard. On the 9th, Steve Nelson. On the 16th, Lon Goddard is back. And then on the 23rd, it's P.A. and T-Roy. That's right. And Cisco and Daltrey will be playing on the 10th at the Chetco Grange, 11 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. And then Cisco will be doing a solo on the 3rd, the 17th, and the 24th, that's at the Brookings Harbor Farmer's Market, and he'll be playing from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. And Lon Goddard is on the 2nd and 3rd playing at the Elk Valley Casino from 7 to 10 p.m. On the 7th and the 21st, he'll be at Kuntai from 6 to 8. On the 10th, he will be at the Democratic Headquarters for the 2nd Saturday Art Walk. That's from 3 to 6. And then on the 17th, he'll be playing at Tortuga Mexican Restaurant from 6 to 8. That's right. Hey, the Tortuga Mexican Restaurant. On the ninth, they'll have Danielle Duran and Ohana from 6 to 8. And then once again, on the 17th, it'll be Lon Goddard, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. And we've got a personal lineup here for P.A. and T. Roy. Again, on the 2nd, they're playing at Checo Brewing Co. from 6 to 8. On the 10th, they'll be at Coon Tai from 6 to 8. And on the 23rd, they'll be at Misty Mountain from 6 to 8. That's right. And hey, Mike Powell, he's playing on the 9th and the 10th at Elk Valley Casino from 7 to 10. And then on the 16th, you'll find him at Checo Brewing Company, 6 to 8. And then Bloodline is playing on the 3rd of February. They're going to be at Oxenfree. Music there starts at 8.30. Yep. And uh, in Ateca, they got on the 2nd, the Mighty Steelheads at 7.30. And then on the 24th, they got the Shark Tones will be playing from 8 to 10. Mm -hmm. And then for the Italian guys, they're playing on the 16th and the 23rd at Kuntai. Music there starting at 6. Yep. And the Mighty Steelheads will be playing on the 2nd in Ateca at 7.30. And Danielle Duran and Ohana are playing on the 9th at Tortuga Mexican Restaurant from 6 to 8 p.m. And then on Tuesdays, they're at Oxen Free from 8 to 11. And Thursdays, they're at Checo Brewing Co. from 5 to 8. That's right. Doing a little open mic action there. Oh, yeah. Fun yeah. Stuff. Come on down and enjoy them is what they want you to do. Hey, Elk Valley Casino, the Betty Green Center. On the 17th, they feature comedian Tom Rhodes, opening act Michael Cordova, the doors open at 7.30, and the show is at 8. On the 24th, we got Unchained, a tribute to Van Halen. Doors open at 7, shows at 8. The Warriors Bar and Grill, we got on the 2nd and the 3rd, Long Goddard, 7 to 10. On the 9th and 10th, you got Mike Powell, 7 to 10. On the 14th, which is Valentine's Day, we got Steve Berg from 6 to 9. On the 16th and 17th, Jesse Mead, 7 to 10. And on the 23rd and the 24th, you've got Steve Nelson, 7 to 10. And then finally, the Shark Tones once again are playing on the 24th at Inateca. Music there running 8 to 10. <laughs> Swalk is presenting Birds of the South Coast. That's going to be happening on the 8th of February from noon to 1. And South, this is at the Southwestern Oregon Community College Curry Campus. They're inviting the community to join them at this special program. The presentation will be given by our own producer, Tom Bozak, yeah. who's a retired aerospace engineer who moved to Brookings with his wife, Linda, in 2007. His interest in photography began as a youth living in central Michigan. He's owned several 35 millimeter cameras over the years before switching to digital in 1999. He photographs whatever seems interesting, including wildlife, sunsets, waves, building, insects, and of course, birds. More recently, he has photographed birds that he and Linda see on their daily walks, especially at the Port of Brookings Harbor. Anne Villasis, president of the Calmeopsis Audubon Society, which is Curry County's locally-based bird and wildlife habitat conservation group, will also be speaking. A lifelong bird and nature enthusiast, Anne will talk about our distinctive South Coast birds and ways to see and enjoy them. And for more information, you can contact the Curry campus at 541 541- Eight one three one six six seven. Yeah, right on, brother Tom is out there doing his stuff, right? Yeah. <laughs> Good deal. <laughs> hey, we got Fort Castle Books is presenting the spoken word open mic. This is happening on the eighth, five forty-five p.m. 
It's original poetry from local poets hosted by Michael Spring. Uh, For more info or to participate, you can call 541-450-1115. Nice. And then the Rice Bowl, located at 16215 West Hotfelt Way in Harbor, is presenting Gu Zhang live performance by Serafina Huang. This is a journey of Chinese music and poetry celebrating the Lunar New Year Festival. This is on the 10th of February, and four shows are going to be running between noon and 9 p.m. You can call for information. They ask that you do make a reservation, and you can call and make that reservation at 541-469-7058. Yeah, they've done some stuff in there before, and it's very successful. Uh, Mm -hmm. But they do have a small area, so yeah, you want to make sure and do their reservations. Mm -hmm. Hey, and the Brookings Elks Lodge is presenting Denim and Diamonds. This is happening on the 10th, 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. A silent and live auction, a live band, dinner and dessert, proceeds to benefit Elk Scholarships. Tickets are $60. For questions and tickets, you can call 541-469-2169. All right, and then there's going to be a Valentine's Day dinner happening at the Brookings Elks Lodge. And this is going to be, what do you know, on the 14th of February. Yep. And you reserve your time of choice, either 4 p.m., 5.30 p.m., or 7 p.m. And this is a five-course meal prepared by Chef James. Filet of shrimp scampi or scallops, chicken cordon bleu, pasta primavera, soup or salad, and dessert, all for $42. And to make reservations, you can call Cheryl at 541-469-2169. That's right. Yep. And hey, now it's time for... Quotes from famous people with Cousin Bruce. Yeah, you know what? We got here a few quotes from Thomas Edison. He was born on the 11th of February, 1846. He says, our greatest weakness lies in giving up. The most certain way to succeed is always to try just one more time. I never view mistakes as failures. They are simply opportunities to find out what doesn't work. He says, having a vision for what you want is not enough. Vision without execution is hallucination. And last, but not least, opportunity is missed by most people because it is dressed in overalls and looks like work. (coughs) Hope you enjoyed this week's quotes from Hey Thomas Edison with Cousin Bruce. Till next week, have a great one. I love my overalls. Well, there's a guy guy who did a light bulb 10,000 times to find out what not to do. I mean, you know, I mean, so, you know. You can only imagine how much, like, like, little shocks he went through. We can do that. All righty. Hey, Three Penny Theater Co. is hey, proudly, <laughs> what do you know, proudly <laughs> presenting Love Letters by A.R. Gurney. This is happening at the Brookings Event Center at 800 Checo Avenue, Unit B in Brookings. That's right across the street from Les Schwab. And the show run is February 9th through 18th, 2024, passing right over Valentine's Day there. Fridays and Saturdays, the show starts at 7, Sunday matinees at 2 p.m., doors open 30 minutes before showtime. And what's this play about? Well, when Andrew Makepeace Ladd III accepts an invitation to Melissa Gardner's birthday party, and Melissa writes a thank you note in return, a romantic friendship and correspondence destined to last for almost half a century is born. Both from affluent East Coast families, Melissa has more money, but Andy has better parents. The friends communicate with each other through angst-ridden boarding school experiences, European adventures, failed marriages, and the ups and downs of career. Despite the painful differences, which ultimately tear them apart, they remain each other's most trusted confidants and are true lovers on paper, if not on the earth. Starring local veteran actors Lori Pepsis and Mike Vest, directed by Three Penny founder Jason Liddell, tickets are $15. There are discounts for seniors, students, and veterans. And if you're looking for a Valentine's Day to remember, we're also offering date night packages for couples featuring shareable sweet and sparkling treats. Late night date packages are limited and available while supplies last. You can book your date night seats anytime online. Learn more about the show. Buy tickets in advance at threepennytheater.com. And if you have questions, you can always call 541-251-0640 or by sending a message to contact at threepennytheater.com. Yeah, good stuff. All right. Get all excited about that. Yeah, yeah. It should be a good time. (laughs) Yep, yep. Those date night packages are going, too. (laughs) (laughs) I'll bet. Yeah. (laughs) And then the Del Norte Association for Cultural Awareness, Danaka, presents Twin Flames. This is at the Betty Green Center in the Elk Valley Casino. This will be happening on February 16th, 6 p.m. Danaka invites you to get ready to ignite sparks and witness the magic of love with Twin Flames, a musical combination of indigenous and western melodies. For the fourth concert of their 2023-24 performance series, they are delighted to host award-winning duo 
Twin Flames, who create sonic soundscapes using indigenous spirit flutes, traditional drums, and Western instruments. The result is a warm, perfect blend of sounds. Twin Flames offers a memorable show with their blend of music, comedy, and thought-provoking stories. Tickets are now available online at janaka.eventbrite.com and at Del Norte Office Supply in Crescent City. They got the general admission, senior admission, and students, so there you go. Any remaining tickets they have will be available at the door. The box off opens at 5.45, and the doors to the auditorium will open at 6 p.m. So there you go. All right. The Twin Flames. Uh-huh. Well, sounds, yeah. Yeah, sounds fun. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, the Curry Public Library District up in Gold Beach have a list of their February events. Coming up first, Make Video Games. This is happening on the 3rd from 2 p.m. to 3.30. Aspiring video game makers are invited to learn about free software tools and getting started guides. And they can discuss project ideas. Interested participants are invited to attend a regular meetup. Details will be discussed during the program. And they ask that you RSVP for this at currypubliclibrary.org slash event slash make dash video dash games. The ages are teen and adult recommended. And then they have Connect Your Phone to Wi-Fi. This is going to be on the 8th of February from noon to 1. Participants are encouraged to bring a device if they have one, like a smartphone, tablet, or laptop, for hands-on support from library staff. And if you attend three or more of the series of the Stay Connected programs, you might be able to claim a prize. Very fun there. Get some basic computer help there. And then they have a Create Your Jewelry event. This is on the 10th of February from 10 a.m. to 1230 Discover the art of laser engraving to create unique acrylic jewelry pieces, including custom earrings, necklaces, and brooches. And they ask that you RSVP for this one at currypubliclibrary.org slash create your jewelry. And then the Friends of Curry Public Library are having a book and bake sale. This is happening on the 16th of February. That's Friday, February 16th from 4 to 6 p.m., That is the day for Friends members only. You can join at the sale for just $10 a year. Then on Saturday the 17th, it's 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Sunday the 18th goes from noon to 4 p.m. And then Monday the 19th, it's 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. for a $2 bag sale. And then they have a Design Your Dragon event on the 24th from 10 a.m. to noon. It says you can explore the process of designing and printing an articulated 3D dragon And then there will be follow-up sessions to create your own dragon available. You can RSVP for this at currypubliclibrary.org slash event slash design your dragon. This is for teens and adults recommended. And then to round out the month, they're having set your phone for easy use. This is on the 27th from noon to 1. You can learn how to use the accessibility features on your phone to make using it easier. This program will cover how to control your phone with your voice, have your phone read the screen to you, adjust text size and appearance, screen magnification, and much more. Yeah, man. Curry Public Library getting it on. Yeah. It was right on February, they were like, let's do all the things. Let's do everything. Yeah, one mind. <laughs> good for them. <laughs> good for them. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be stagnant the rest of the year. No. Uh, no. Well, they, no. <laughs> they're rocking and rolling. They're going at it. Yeah, that's all right. That's good. Hey, the 17th Annual Winter Art and Chocolate Festival is going to be here again at the Brookings Harbor High School Cafeteria. This is on the 17th and the 18th from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. 17 years and running, the Winter Art and Chocolate Festival brings together local and regional artists, chocolate makers, and the great citizens of Southern Oregon for one of the area's most tempting festivals. Yeah, 17 years. I've been here 15, so. Yep. Yeah, Mm -hmm. that's cool. Good one. It's a good one. Hey, the Lucky 7 Casino is presenting Dylan Schneider on the 18th at 8 p.m. You're invited to a live performance by Dylan Schneider at the Lucky 7 Casino and Hotel. He's toured with artists such as Morgan Wallen, Dan and Shay, Florida Georgia Line, Kane Brown, and many more. Doors open at 7. The show begins at 8. Tickets are $25. They're available at eventbrite.com or at the door. And just a note, this is a casino. You have to be 21 years or older to attend this event. You do. And then at Tortuga Mexican Restaurant, they're up at 28788 Hunter Creek Loop in Gold Beach, is presenting Ghosts of Brian Craig. This is happening on February 23rd. 6 p.m. to 8 p.m., Brian graces the stage armed only with his acoustic guitar and harmonica. They highly recommend that you call them for reservations, security reservations, they say. All right, and Elk Valley Casino is presenting Unchained, a Van Halen tribute. This is happening at their Betty Green Center on the 24th at 8 p.m. 
and they say get ready to rock out with the electrifying sounds of Unchained, a tribute to Van Halen. This tribute band will be performing live at the Betty Green Center at the Elk Valley Casino. The concert will feature some of Van Halen's greatest hits, including Running with the Devil, Ain't Talking About Love, Dance the Night Away, Panama, Jump, Hot for Teacher, The Cradle Will Rock, Eruption, and many more. Tickets are on sale now, pre-sale at etix.com. They're also available at the casino or on the day of the event. Doors open at 7 p.m. The show starts at 8. You have to be 21 or older to attend this casino event. It's that old casino thing again, isn't it? Is? Yeah. Hey, the Brigham's Harbor Card and Club is presenting the first annual Sky on Day and Grafting Demonstration. This is presented by John Savage at Checkco Community Library. It's happening on February 26, 11 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. It's open to the public from beginner to experienced. All are welcome. Don't have sky owns? Well, come see what they are starting anyway. Come learn about grafting. Please participate by bringing sky owns of healthy fruit trees such as apple, pear, or cherry, any fruit tree. Bring gallon Ziploc bags, a tape, and a permanent marker. And then you can contact John if you need to know how to harvest your sky owns to bring to the class. And he will instruct you via email at johnsav at charter.net. Sharpen up your grafting knife and create your own Franken tree, they say as well. What the <laughs> heck is a scion? A scion. Look at a, a scion. A scion, scion, scion is, is like is? Okay. A, a like kind of a snippet of tree that's going to get grafted onto another tree. Well, I can dig that, yeah. but I never heard it called a scion. Before. I hadn't either. Yeah, I, I just, just know the, the cars there. are called scions, and so I'm pretty sure that's the... the uh, yeah. yeah, that's all I know. <laughs> and I, uh, yeah, because, yeah. yeah, I thought it was a... Yeah, I don't know. I forget what we call it mm-hmm. when we grafted, you know, when we take and, and you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, I, I never heard that word before, so I thought that's what it was. But. but, yeah, and if you are not sure yourself and you want to participate, like they said, via email, they'll instruct you. It's johnsav at charter.net. Yep, so mm-hmm. there, is. there you go. And, hey, now it's time for a bit of weird history with Bushwhacker Bruce. Right. Good day, cat. Good day, mates. Bushwhacker Bruce here, and welcome to this week's bit of weird history for your knowledge pleasure. Do you know? The two German commanders used to play the game Battleship. It's true, and here's the story. Grand Admiral Karl Donitz, commander-in-chief of the German Navy from 1943 to 1945, he was a daring submarine commander in World War I, and in the lattermost stage of his career, he was responsible for fleets of warships, hundreds of thousands of personnel, and the mightiest war-fighting vessels of his nation. He reached the height of naval command and was covered in honors. He was even briefly head of state. But with a steep rise came an equally steep fall. After Germany's surrender in 1945, he was an Allied prison cell, awaiting trial at Nuremberg. To all way that time, one of the Admiral Friedberg's adjutants taught him and his fellow prisoners how to play the game Battleship. Of course, that game requires an opponent. Who else did he find to play against him but his fellow commander-in-chief, Hermann Göring? Those who once directed wars and decided the fates of nations now directed fantasy fleets across pads of paper. Goring tried to sink Donitz's warships with as much gusto as if he was directing his Luftwaffe's bombers against them personally, and he did not like to lose. Once the Admiral even protested, Herman's cheating! If he doesn't like where my shells are falling, he marks them on different squares. Can you say you sunk my battleship in German? I hope you enjoyed this week's Better History with yours truly, Bushwhacker Brew. Until next time, keep it real, but always keep it weird. Imagine that. Two, like, commanders in chiefs. It doesn't uh-huh. matter what army, but, it, I mean, they're playing a game of battleship. Just, just figure in it yeah Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) it was kind of funny (laughs) yeah i mean you you think it's like okay yeah yeah well you got to pass the time something yeah but then cheating too (laughs) i know yeah yeah yeah. well that doesn't go with the geneva convention yeah yeah (laughs) all right we've got an ongoing program here from the curry public library in gold beach they're doing memory cafe curry this meets the third wednesday of every month from 10 30 a.m to noon at the curry public library in gold beach they do ask that you register for the program. They say shoot an email to memorycafe at cpulib.net or call them at 541-247-7246. 
A memory cafe is an informal social gathering for older adults living with memory loss and their care partners. Care partners may include, but are not limited to, spouses, siblings, children, or friends whose social lives are often just as affected as their loved ones. Memory cafes are designed to be a casual, stress-free gathering to allow care partners the opportunity to relax and socialize with others in a similar situation. Memory Cafe Curry will be staffed by a qualified social service provider, library staff, and volunteers. Right on. Yep, there you go. Hey, we got time for one more here. The VFW is doing a Legacy Bricks fundraiser. VFW Post is raising money to fix its building, upgrade its heating, electricity, and improve its landscape. They have raised approximately 30000 but they need another 20000 to complete the work. They are selling legacy bricks that will highlight the entrance of the building, featuring messages of memory to veterans respected by their loved ones. Each brick will cost the donor $100, and every purchased brick will be laid professionally in front of the post for everyone to observe. They will also conduct yard sales, provide meals for a nominal donation, and sponsor other groups and their activities. Once the building is completed, the VFW Post 966 will serve the veterans and community of Brookings. They are active in the Brookings community, a member of the Brookings Chamber of Commerce, and supporter of the Brookings City Council. They support our veterans for providing ceremonies, funerals, and memorials. The VFW Post 966 is a 501c19 nonprofit group, with all members being veterans of foreign wars. Their national charter began in 1939, and they have approximately 20 million members throughout the United States. Veterans Post 966 is located at 507 Pacific Avenue, Brookings, right across from the high school. And we are down to the nitty gritty. Yeah. No. Get one more in there. I think we can get another one in there. Oh, like maybe this this announcement from from KCIW (laughs) about their new soapbox series. The KCIW is giving folks a chance to speak their mind on a new show called the KCIW Soapbox. Basically, KCIW is offering two minutes of airtime to anyone who has something to say. There are some rules, no cussing, no slandering, no advertising, but other than that, folks can share what's on their mind. The studio is open every Wednesday from 2 to 3 for people to come in and record. Very cool, very cool. Well, that's it. We are done. Please remember to always shop local, support your local stores, shops, and all that good stuff out there. And It's time to close out this week's show. Before we go, I'd like to give a shout out to our Phillips producer, Brother Tom, for all his great work making us look and sound good on the radio. I want to thank you all for tuning in to this week's Insider Report. Please make sure to tune in on a daily basis to KCIW 100.7 FM and listen to all the fine shows that they have to offer. You can also listen to the fantastic show podcast, including the Insider Report, at KCIW.org. And while you're there, hey, check out the live streaming as well. Hey, until next week, this is Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. We are signing off. Keep it real and spread the love and the peace every chance you get. Hey, we'll we'll see see you out there. there. Bam! You know, depending on how many goofs we do in a show, yeah. like I feel like sometimes it's appropriate. It should be a rim shot at the end, yeah. <laughs> oh, you got it. <laughs>